what's up everybody welcome back and welcome to monday october 28th day 22 of climbing the mountain and we'll jump into the check-in right off the bat so we woke up this morning weighed in at 353.6 pounds again um, i think i mean it's the same as yesterday uh, the thing that is bothering me about this is i've noticed that the scale my scale tends to read in like chunks of weight and so if I haven't moved much it won't change but then also when it is getting ready to switch uh, it'll jump around instead of giving me little incremental gains or losses for example this morning it was bouncing between 353.6 and 352.6 or 8 or something like that so uh, I think I'm gonna have to get a scale upgrade sometime in the near future We'll worry about that later on. It's accurate enough for now. And then moving on to the blood pressure, measured that at 146 over 91. Uh, business as usual here, just got to keep working at it. Uh, it'll be an improvement in that, will be a symptom of the hard work and longevity that we are trying to reach. As far as sleep goes, I put away five and three quarters hours of sleep. Uh, still not nearly enough, but I'm thinking about it, um, and I'll get back to that. Uh, then moving on to the food, run right through that. So for breakfast, it was my intention to eat a bowl of cereal, but upon further examination of my milk, that was not an option, so I ended up dumping my milk out. Didn't smell the greatest. For uh, So I audible out to a peanut butter sandwich and from the picture this is where you can see how far I got through the sandwich before I realized I needed to take a picture of it uh, for lunch I had 10 pepperoni bagel bites and then for dinner I had sesame chicken with white rice from the Chinese restaurant and then uh, throughout the day at work we had a trick-or-treat event so I ended up putting away a good handful of mini uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and I'll move over to the my fitness pal chart a couple things to note here uh, so the bagel bites it's not a great choice by any means however I'm gonna uh, give myself some credit here I then I had to come home from for lunch to let my dog out and the entire day I was talking myself into stopping and getting some fast food. Instead I just came home, made something in the microwave and ate it. And that was, I mean, A, me working through my thoughts and then also saving myself some money. So I'm going to give myself a pat on the back there, albeit not the greatest thing. Um, then... Also, I'm going to leave out the lunch and dinner pictures. I, I just didn't take them because the food was in my face and down the hatch before I even thought about it. Uh, I'm going to do better here at some point, and again, I'll, I'll come back to that as well. I've got that a talking point, or a talking point about that. Um, other than that... Uh, Calories are slightly up, and then sodium's outrageous, but business as usual again. And then with that, I'll jump into my talking points. So today is the first day for the 25-minute walk. One thing I wanted to acknowledge is on my days that I work, I work until 5.30 in the evening. So by the time I get home at this time of year, it's already dark out, so I won't be able to get any walking footage. So we're going to go underground and we'll be using the treadmill most of the days I work, if not all of them. Um, and I thought about it also, I wanted to give anybody that works on the treadmill some tips that I have. Uh, the two main things that I thought of were to A, warm up. So when you're first starting out, go at the slow speed. Now what I like to do is every 30 seconds I'll increase the speed by half a mile an hour just until I get my legs pumped up and get going. And then same thing on the back end. Uh, when you're getting ready to stop, 
I like to, every 30 seconds, take it back down a half a mile an hour until I'm at a point where I'm walking again. There's a real uh, disorienting feeling when you're walking or, you know, jog whatever the case may be on the treadmill. You're going faster, then you suddenly stop and try to get down off of it and walk. You get sort of like a whiplash feeling, so it's better to cool down a little bit before you actually get off and start walking at a regular pace. Then the other thing I wanted to mention was just uh, making sure you stay hydrated, especially if you're going to be doing it for a long time. And this is not just a walking thing, but just if you're doing any kind of physical activity in general, just make sure you stay hydrated. It's going to be to great benefit. Um, the one the one thing I keep an eye out for on the treadmill is I'll get to the point where my uh, my lips or just my mouth in general will start to feel dry. And that's when I'll make sure to drink some water and get that taken care of. Um, and I thought it would be good to just recap what I'm doing. So if anybody comes along and starts at this point, they can figure out what I'm, what's going on here. Uh, so we're just doing uh, calorie restrictions for the diet. And then on Thursday, I'm cleaning the eating up. And then for the day's work, I'm just doing a walk, some grip strength exercise to work out my blood pressure, and then some ankle mobility drills to get my ankle mobility in line so that the rest of my body doesn't suffer as we build me up from the ground up. Uh, the other thing here is we're just doing little incremental changes to our life. The main thing here for me personally is that I show the work every day. I prove that the work's being done and just continue the grind. Uh, the results are going to come here eventually. It's it's not even a matter of if, it's just how long can the weight sustain itself against the increased workload and the improved diet. Uh, eventually success is guaranteed here. Um, then if anybody ever watching this learns nothing else from me, I'd like it to be that progress can be made even through imperfect effort. I mean, you'll see every single day I talk about how I goof up, and uh, I like to acknowledge that because you know you don't need to be perfect to get better. It's, I mean, part of getting better is trying to mitigate those imperfections the best you can. I don't know that it's possible. I'm sure it is on, to some degree, but. Uh, you know, if things aren't going exactly the way you want them to, eight, don't, you know, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It, as long as you keep coming back and attacking day by day, it's certainly not going to stop you from achieving your goals. Um, then on top of that, uh, not giving up and not getting dis discouraged or king here. Uh, persistence is where we live, so... You know, as, as long as we don't stop what we're doing permanently, nothing can actually stop us. We're going to keep making progress. Um, you know, the numbers I've shown, I'll either sit still, gain a little bit, or just lose a little bit. Uh, you know, don't get discouraged by that. That's kind of how the grind goes, especially when we're just, you know, making these small little changes so we can build a lifestyle. Um, again... Not every day is going to be perfect. You're not going to magically uh, see the progress every single day. You just got to stick with it. And if you're getting discouraged by one aspect of what you're doing, try to find some solace or you know give yourself a pat on the back and something else. Uh, the the fact celebrate the fact that you're working at it. Celebrate the fact that you're thinking about it. Uh, celebrate anything, but don't beat yourself up over little tiny things that, in the grand scheme of things, don't matter. We're here, we're working on it, we're trying hard, and our intentions are good. What else is there, right? Um, I personally, I wanted to talk about the uh, the sleep and the pictures where I'm, I'm not... I'm not taking pictures of the food every day. 
um, lots of little things aren't going right and and uh, you know for that matter it's the this the intake of my sodium is you know horrible most days just because of the things we're eating there's lots of little things going wrong and I talk a little bit about it every day where I want to try to do better and we're going to try to make improvements uh, my person I can see where that'd be obnoxious for me to continuously talk about it and not actually make progress but it's it's something I personally have to do I don't know if you know anybody else is that way but things for me I've got to keep them fresh in my brain I've got to let them fester and marinate and there's gonna come a time where I get sick of talking about it sick of hearing myself talk about it and then I'll see these really gung-ho changes in myself that I can stick with it's just another one of those grinds but uh, you know stick with me on that one I'll make the progress so I'll, I'll, I'll be the example there it just takes me a little bit longer than it probably should uh, but we'll we'll get there um, another thing I wrote down to talk about was uh, with the with this being a grind and it taking a long time and that being frustrating uh, you know there's plenty of places to get discouraged keep in mind uh, nothing worth doing is ever going to be easy uh, everything that is going to be worth your time is going to take hard work it's going to take practice discipline but there will be a sense of accomplishment a sense of pride that you can gain from it so it's that's all the extra motivation to stick with things keep on offense keep doing what you got to do to get where you want to get and again uh, let's celebrate the fact that we're doing something positive let's celebrate the fact that maybe if we're not currently doing it we're thinking about it or we're starting the process um, I think that wanting to do something is a good chunk of the battle and then getting yourself to do something is another chunk of it and then sticking with it is the last thing but if if you've thought about doing something positive for yourself you know that's great you're you're part of the way there just keep thinking about it keep thinking about how you want to execute it you know visualize that what what, what do you want to do how do you want to approach it and ultimately just get after it I, there's the thing that I've learned about and I've talked about with Brian is I I do think that the only thing keeping us from doing great things is ourselves and how we go about our lives. So uh, just, you know, do what's best for you. But if there's something you want to do, start moving towards it. That, I guess that would be my, my parting gift. Uh, that is everything I had written down to talk about. Uh, just keep working at all that stuff like I said and the results will come but uh, I'll move on to the quote in the clip that I decided on for today so the quote that I found that I wanted to share with everybody is from a football player Ray Lewis who played for the Baltimore Ravens for a long time he's a great football player he's a great leader of men uh, just great leader in general but um, the quote I picked out of his is the hardest thing to do is work hard when no one's watching and there's a lot of truth to that and that's exactly why we're here in this YouTube video is uh, the accountability thing you know how are you gonna act when no one's looking but in this particular sense uh, working hard when no one's watching that's a that's a big measure of a person there because uh, it, it's always been easy for me today for example um, it you know it'd be easy to just not do this video but I have to because I, I, I want to set the example I need to put the work out there and prove that it's being done so we, we can prove where the results are coming from eventually um, but it would be easy if we didn't have this to say you know I don't want to do it today I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave this to tomorrow no one's gonna know right we can we'll make up for it tomorrow uh, those types of things so if you get to the point where you are working your ass off 
and you're just doing it for you there's a real treasure there to be proud of for yourself like that's that's a real feather in your cap that you gotta hang out to so uh, that is the quote and then I found a video that somebody made it's titled decisions and it talks about procrastinating and then making the small decisions but making decisions based on what you want to accomplish so you know you take the bagel bites and fast food thing for example I made a decision to do something a little bit more positive but that decisions going towards our goals um, you know make make decisions in such a way that they point you towards your end goal um, just thought that that was pretty valuable and uh, I, you know, while I'm speaking, I'm recording this right now at 1.42 in the morning. Uh, I made a decision to sit there and get caught in the YouTube vortex watching Jimmy Fallon have celebrities do impressions, and that was bringing me some joy for a while, so I sat and watched that, but I'm losing out on sleep because of it, so that decision was not one that was made towards my goals, and that's an adjustment I have to make, but again... Uh, it's not perfect, we'll acknowledge it, we'll learn from it, we'll move on, uh, just got to get better day by day, uh, that 1% incremental gain will take us where we want to go, so one step at a time, but that is all I have for now, I'll put those two things in the description, um, and I want to thank everybody for watching again, thank you for holding me accountable, thank you for helping me get better. Please, again, like, comment, subscribe, help me grow the channel, uh, share it if you'd be willing, I'd appreciate that, and lastly, uh, keep climbing the mountain, and I will see you in the next one.